Well, hello folks, welcome to episode two of our eighth season here at Riga FC. I'm the Gusta Prophet and this is the Latvian job. And you can see here we're going to be playing Spartax away, but what you're all wondering is have we continued that 100% record? Well, anyone who can do a bit of maths doesn't take much will realize yes we have we have won 20 out of 20 games so far with a 70 a plus 70 goal difference which i think is a little bit down on last year but we are playing a little more um reserves and it does seem to be working in, in that we're not having that many you know ridiculously close games we're uh, we're keeping the chances off them but then we're um we're, we're generating enough chances to win the games and it, the, there might be a problem at some point where we play someone where we just don't you know create or score enough of these chances but let's have a little look at the results since we were last together so i if i'm remembering rightly we played lapaya and we won that two nil away from home it was a fairly comfortable match we followed that up with a home victory against rfs two nil again uh goals from guille and Krollis. Smiltene, 6-0 away victory here. Pape Daff, Aldrichis with just the four goals, and Stankus with a with a customary header. Played Spartax, they did score against us. Not many people have done that. We won 4-1 though. Tariq Paiva with a couple and Aldrichis. Then we played Tukums uh, away with a run of three away games, beat them 3-0. Help that they had a player sent off, although we'd done our, all our damage by then. Krollis with a couple, and Misu, who's been out injured recently. Another 3-0 away from home against Alda, who are doing quite well this season. Tariq, Belovs, and Gie. And this was a interesting one. We won 1-0, uh, Pape Daff penalty. We created chances, but this is what I was talking about. Sometimes we just don't create necessarily enough, or just don't, don't, don't score the goal. And uh, that, that could have gone very, very wrong. Played La Paja at home. This was a comfortable 3-1. Uh, we did uh, lose a lead, a Chiadio goal. They scored uh, to make it 1-1. But then uh, the Latvian Alisinovs and Tariq scored. Now in this period here, it's important to realise it's, it's, uh, it's the old Baltic Cup again. So we had a, an interesting side out. The likes of Ijevs there. We had Lisinovs playing in, in this game, was he? He might not have been able to play in the next one. Yeah, it was this one. Yeah, uh, he got he then got called up because uh, I think it was Krollis got an injury or somebody got an injury, so he he came back as so we lost yet another player. But it was uh, it was challenging. We then beat Valmiria two 0 at home. I was really pleased with this. Pape Daff and uh, Misu with a late goal. Took him as four 0 at home. Aldrichis with a couple. Daff and Karpov and then just beating Smiltani. Uh, to round off four home games on the trot, 5-1, and that was Aldrichis, Pape Daff, and Chiadio, and Lusinovs with the goal. So we're playing Spartax away, and Spartax are currently in second. So let's have, a, let's have a look at what the league looks like at the minute. You can see the RFS have pulled a little bit more form out of the bag. They're, they're looking like they might be out of the trouble they put themselves in originally. And Tukums are the side that's dropped into that um, that dreaded tenth place, which is which is interesting because it's it was Smiltani who came up, and Ventspils and the other teams have come up fairly recently. So we might be losing one of the original members of this kind of ten man league, um, which uh, yeah will be uh, will be a sad thing. But it'll be interesting to get new new t new teams involved in the um, in the league, of course. We've had no transfers in. Um, what we have done, though, is done a little bit in terms of club improvement. And you can see here, we have now improved our youth recruitment. They agreed to do that to now exceptional, which I think is as high as it can get. And we are improving our training facilities, which will be up to exceptional as well. So I think it's the youth training facilities is all that remains uh, to be improved. And then we will have a uh, fully uh, maxed out club still not getting players through though right let's go and play um i'm going to sort the team out and then we'll be back so we are a little bit shy on strikers as you can see we've got paiva and misu 
Well, Misu's not fully out, so maybe maybe we'll be able to put him on. What's he? Oh God, he's put, reacted badly. Harold Zerglis isn't playing much, unfortunately. So uh, we'll put Misu on the bench. He's back from injury. Krollis is looking a little tired as well, but uh, the, t the team is uh, Krollis, Ulderikis, and Daff as the as the front three. Uh, Kiyadi, Obama, and Tariq uh, across the middle. Uh, Jimao, uh, Gie, Karpov, and Yaozems at, at the back line, and, uh, and Kugiev in goal. So uh, let's see how we do here. I'm hopeful that we can keep things going. Um, we'll talk about Europe in a second because we've got a European tie. You might have seen who we're playing there. Um, but let's uh, let's play this match first of all. Here we go, coming out onto the pitch. Is it going to rain yet again? And we'll hopefully start strongly here against uh, Spartak's side who definitely improved. Ball in though. Kiadio gets onto that. We have got Aldrichis who is such a... I mean, he's scored so many goals this season. Uh, ball over the top though this time. Uh, I can't remember what he's on. He's over 20 goals already, I think. Um, not so many goals from elsewhere, but we have, we have they're sharing it around, the strikers are. The, uh, the left back into absolutely no one. Thought they were going to lose the ball there, but that's fine. Play that ball because we're just going to recycle that. Aldrichis, it's Bamba. Is he going to find a pass? It's Aldrichis. And there we go. That was really nicely done. Control it. Balls took an age to come down under his control, it seemed, but I guess it was only milliseconds in reality. It was really nicely done. Daft just plays it, or Aldrichis plays it to Bamba, makes the run. No one follows him and uh, just waits for it to drop to his foot and uh, pokes it past the keeper great start four minutes on the clock well not much action um, from either team really but we've looked like we might have another highlight here Krollis into Aldrichis he does get the ball eventually he's running through is he going to score another one it's a good save there from the goalkeeper Martin and and um, XG does suggest that the scoreline is probably about right at the moment. Yaozems clips it in. And, oh, Aldrichis got the header on target and Karpov was following up on the far post, but they got in the way of that. Again, it seems to be all one way. It'd be nice to get that second goal. The uh, the left back, Jamal, clips it in. And, wow, another amazing save there from the goalkeeper there. He is single-handedly, or maybe double-handedly, keeping the t their team in, in this match. Well, he can't do anything there. Aldrichis, he is he is a handful. Uh, he really is. It's, it, almost everything is coming from him at the minute. Keeper, he finally made a bit of an error. He kind of like stepped out, and then as soon as he did that, he was in trouble. We're 2-0 up. Looking good. Right. Almost the end of the half, but Aldrichis, he hits the outside of the post with his header this time. He's a beast, that man. Straight from the throw, though. Jamal, Kiadio. Are we going to have a yet another Aldrichis chance? It looks like we might do. <laughs> it's a bit of a battle between goalkeeper and, um, and striker. I'm not quite sure who's coming out on top because he's had a lot of chances. Right, 2-0 at half-time. I think you'll agree we, we kind of deserve this. More of the same, please. Right, 56 minutes on the clock. It is Bamba who's got it after the throw-in. Uh, Gie, are you going to try and find a short pass? He does into Bamba. They're trying to press us a little bit. It didn't work. And Jamal, and I can see the pass that's on. He's took his time to play it to Kroos and Cross will find Aldrichis and is the hat trick on? No, it's not. Another great piece of goalkeeping. He's he's done well for him. They are they cannot deal with him in the air though. It's brilliant. Highlight continues and um, not quite sure why this is. Bamba, it's Yazem's. Plays it into Daff this time on the, the right side. He goes all the way over to Krollis. He loses the ball. Ball's going to be in from the left. It's Pape Daff. And he absolutely smashes it in. It's a great goal that was. And uh, 
Pape Duff, he gets himself on the score sheet. We're going to make some changes now. Well, uh, we might have a little look at that one again because it was a spectacular hit. J Jamal, he's got all the vowels, hasn't he? Hogging them all. And oh, left footed smash. Absolutely glorious that was. So, couple of, or well, three changes. We've got Kutzia, uh, Bielefeld, Bielefeld, and Krollis all coming on. Oh no. What's that? Were we not allowed to make oh no we're not allowed to make that let's uh let's put stankus on here for Gia, who's on a card that seems sensible stankus has done really well and and that will allow us to bring misu on for Krollis. uh misu back from injury let's see if he can score a goal that'd be nice four changes Yazams with the corner, chips it in, and Aldrich is over the top. So yeah, bringing Tormans on at left back as well. Hopefully that will make make a change. Looks like we're running into a highlight here. Is it going to be for Spartax? They have shown absolutely zero so far, but maybe there's a chance here. Good control, Miroz, ball in, and the keeper just picks that up. Uh, good. Well, he did well to get the header, but need to do more than that. Pape's got it. Yazems hasn't come off yet. Is Kutsia the Georgian? Oh, how did that stay out? That was Misu's chance. Roll across the goal line. Almost four. Right, right at the end. Bielefeld chips it in, but. Not good enough. Kutsi is now going to try to go. And Aldrichis over the top. I'm not sure who's won this out of the two of them. I think Aldrichis has scored two early on. But after that, it's 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 Martinen who's, who's been very, very impressive. I think they've both, uh, both shown some good things. Can't say much else for the, the rest of the Spartax team. Looks like a... Late foul by the felt chips it in, but no, it's just cleared. I thought that said vitamin E. It's a bit healthy. There we go, three 0 comfortable stuff. Um, we let them back into it, kind of at the end. We took our foot off the gas a little bit, but very, very strong performance. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, game number twenty one out of. Well, 30 something, 36 is it? So still, we're over halfway, but still still a way to go before we can start thinking about um, having, having um, uh, the 100% record. We've been so close on many, many times. Good draw for RFS there. They've picked up another point, but... Um, Looks like Smiltene got themselves a win, which is a bit of a surprise. So they've just pulled away from RFS. Exciting times. Could it be Meta who dropped down? Ten, ten games away from home. Um, one, not bad. We'll just we'll just scroll through this. So what have we got in the Champions League? Let's have a have a look at that. We've got a couple of things to talk about right at the end here. We play in the Maltese side. Uh, Birkir Kara uh, in the first round. We're not going to come back for that. You'll be pleased to know. We'll be, we'll be. I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll win that, win that comfortably. So we're going to play that behind, behind the closed doors. And then in the second qualifying round, we have drawn either Dilla of Georgia or HJK of Finland. Um, now we did come back for the. The other game against Finland, I'm going to, again, probably play through this game as well. Uh, if we get through, which, which we will definitely get through the first one. I'm going to play the first first game. If it looks like we're comfortably through, we may well actually come back for you for the third qualifying round. So it's not that sort of interminable wait until you actually sort of get somewhere in, in Europe. Um, that's the plan anyway. We may be back a little bit earlier than then if things go horribly wrong. Fingers crossed they won't, though. 
The other thing that I was asked to show is the uh, a particular screen, and I'm going to go and search for it. Then I'll be back. Right, so this is the screen that I was asked to look at. So I'm just uh, old lady plays asked to see uh, what the sort of this comparison screen looked like. She was particularly interested with some of the mental attributes. So we're going to click that on and uh, look at uh, determination was one that she was particularly interested in. So determination, we haven't actually got as high as others, but 12.41 doesn't seem too bad. Um, aggression is quite low, but we are highest in the league for most of them. It's it, it's a shame you can't do this in in kind of the context of Europe or something like that. But I, I think it might might make me very sad. So that's the um, that's the um, uh, mental. Let's just go through the technical. That's kind of where we are there. Um, what's thr three balls throwing long throws is that long throws no that's that must be those no, long long shots long throws yes so we're not really set up for long throws and physically uh it's jumping and fitness where we're not quite as high as high as everyone else but looking pretty good hopefully that um highlights the those mental attributes that's that's where they are again um they're probably not as high as some of the other ones. I think there was twelves uh, in in maybe a lot of the technicals, and maybe not quite as high there for the, for the mental attributes. But certainly in this league, we are uh, better. I, I wonder whether those that low determination is in key players though, and that's maybe something we can look at. Anyway, folks, as I say, we're going to come back probably next time for the hopefully fingers crossed the third qualifying round of the Champions League. It's, uh, it's a big ask. We've got to get through this one first, then the next one probably against HJK, um, and then whoever that is after that, um, um, and also all the stuff in between as well, the likes of uh, uh, the, the the cup matches and uh, other other such things, the uh, the league, and trying to keep that hundred percent record. In terms of difficult games left, you look at it. Um, we have. Home games against Lipaya and Valmiria towards the end, so that's that's something. Home against RFS there. I think we played both away games. So, so this one here and this one here are the, probably the two big ones that are remaining. So hopefully we can push our way through those. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.